What do you think is the world's ugliest city? Well, there are many cities around the world that have this reputation of being the world's ugliest. However, here in Belgium, the city of Chalera has the reputation of being the world's ugliest city. So, I've come here to find out if the rumours are true. Is it really the world's ugliest city? Let's find out. Welcome to Chalera. Well, this is it. Welcome to the world's ugliest city, Shalawa. I've just arrived and let me tell you something. It's living up to its reputation. It's not the prettiest of places, but in this video, we're going to make the most of it. So yeah, welcome to Shalawa here in Belgium. Now, before we begin walking around, you're not going to believe what's happened. If you see my last video, you would have seen that Katerina left me and went back to Portugal to continue her life. Her flight got cancelled, she's still here. Here I am. <laughs> Welcome to the world's ugliest city. Yeah, I can't say it is, rotting me away. Poor Katerina. And it's cold. It's so <laughs> cold. Poor Katerina is stuck with me for another 24 hours. She thought she got away, she's still here. In the world's ugliest city. Anyway, we're going to make the most of it. I'm actually meeting with a local in a minute and he's going to be showing me around the world's ugliest city. So, let's begin an adventure here in Belgium. Now guys, let me quickly show you the centre of Chalawa. Now that is the central station right there, right in the heart of Chalawa. And look at the state of this place. Let me stick my camera through here. Look at that building there, it looks like it's been bombed. My God, what a place. Right, Kat, let's go meet the local and begin the tour. Let's go freeze together. Yes. Oh, lovely, look at that, lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Nico, yes, the salut. local from, am I saying it right? Charleroi. Charleroi. Charleroi, with that yeah. French accent. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for inviting me to the world's, well, Europe's ugliest city or the world's universe, ugliest? Universe, universe. Universe. <laughs> universe. <laughs> First impressions, mate, I kind of agree why it has that title. But please show us around. Show us what the air. <laughs> well, this is what I call in Dutch the beskaving, eh? the civilization. Eh? But uh, the city center of Charleroi is very small mm. and probably in less than 10 minutes we're going to be inside the former uh, steel factory. Wow. Let's go. In French Belgium, we we use many English words but that we transform. For example, yeah, yeah. I mean the sneakers. Yeah. We call that uh, before was back basket shoes. Basket but, shoes. But but we only say basket like. Uh, Just basket. Yeah. <laughs> you right? <laughs> okay, right into the thick of it here. Look at this. Jesus. Blimey, it's living up to his reputation. When Mercury turns green, Hamid Nata. What a place. Bloody hell. Poor Katarina. She missed the flight. She could be at home right now in Portugal and she's here in the world's ugliest city. What is this? Battery. Battery. Uh, so Nico was just saying this man actually lives under this bridge with his girlfriends. I'm not too sure what the battery is all about. Um, I asked Nico if he's selling anything of the batteries. Is it, I don't know, is that how he makes money? And he said he isn't sure. But yeah, this is life for those two people underneath this bridge. Bloody hell, look at this place. Right under the bridge. Wow. I don't know what happened here. It looks like it's been on fire many times. Anyway, let's get further in. I've been to a lot of ugly cities in my time. The most recent, I'd probably say Mongolia had loads of ugly random towns, all like abandoned. Even in the west of Japan, when it was all abandoned there, that was ugly. But here, in Shalara, this is next level. So a lot of people are living under here in the bridge, so you've got to be careful what you're filming. 
Five years ago, there was still a factory, bridge, tube, uh, everywhere. But here they already destroy everything. Uh, that one is still in activity. That one, uh, they preserve it uh, because uh, Italian worker. Really? They, they want to make a museum with uh, the, the, the high furnace. Mm. You know? What's this factory useful behind? Uh, still factory. Still. You know, you got, you got board. They come with uh, scrap metal. Yeah. They take the scrap metal to a pot. What do you think, Kat? Nice place, right? No. <laughs> Jesus. The bloody roof's coming down here, look. Watch your head, Kat. Falling rubble. Look at this. Bits of steel, concrete, all falling off. Blimey, what a place. What a place. I'm getting further in. Wolverhampton, I heard. Wolverhampton, ugliest city in England? Yeah. They, I'd I, say Birmingham, Wolverhampton. Um, Luton apparently is very bad. Luton. What about Portugal? Ugliest city in Portugal? <laughs> you have so many. Sinch. Sinch. Sinch is a um, town next to the ocean and looks like they put like all the weirdest people in the same boats and sent to that city. <laughs> Bloody hell, sounds like Plymouth in England where I come from. No, Plymouth is luxury compared with that one. Plymouth. Jesus. My God, what a shithole it really is. Right here, we're next to several abandoned factories. I mean, look at it. Let me pan the camera around at my view. It's got these huge abandoned chimneys. Look at this. And you've got this factory over there. Not open. No, this is the steel factory, sorry. So this is still open. But look at this tower here. It looks like it's fallen to pieces. And you've got that factory over there. That's abandoned. And it carries on. Another one in the distance. Another abandoned chimney here. What a place. What a beauty. Charleroi is. Cat's loving it. Look at her. What do you reckon, Cat? Ugliest city you've ever been to? This one. Hundred percent. I mean, look at that backdrop. Look at that for a backdrop. It's starting to snow. It's starting to snow. Let's get it moving. Get further in. Let me know in the comments. What's the ugliest city you've been to? I know I've got a lot of American subscribers. New York. I've heard that's pretty shit. What's the other ones? Vegas? They say Vegas is shit. Oh, look at this. Oh my God. The smells as well. Horrendous. Let's carry on. Yes, yesterday, yesterday I was with a group and a piece of the bridge fall. Shit. Fuck off us. No way, let's. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen today, Nico. To be fair, it looks like the whole bridge is gonna come down at any minute. This is one of the videos where I don't have to do much talking. I just let the camera do the talking. Crossing the ugliest bridge in Cholera onto the next factory. Wow, we're getting proper in here, proper deep into the factories. Look at this, look. it's all just flooded underneath this bridge. Blimey, what a place. It's okay. Ah, oh, someone here graffiti in the tower. Look at this. Jesus, we're going up this tower. Okay, fuck it. Let's go in. You ready? <laughs> It'd be all right. Nico's with us. Stinks in here. Have you seen the stairs? Come in. That is nuts. Are we climbing up? Yeah. Christ. All right, let's do it. Yeah, get a light on. All right, careful there, cat. Oh, it's shaking quite heavy, isn't it? You want to make an Airbnb on? Airbnb? <laughs> I don't think I'd want to stay here. Watch your step around here, cat. There's like loose things. There's no. walls coming apart. There's holes in the floor. Oh, this is nuts. I think this is the window from where everyone puts the picture. 
Yeah, let's do the window. I do the other one. Bloody hell. Jesus. Oh, yes, look at this. What a place, mate. This is nuts. So we're about halfway. Tower's huge. Hey, bonjour. Bonjour. S'il vous plaît, merci. 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 You need to merci for like bringing me to the world's ugliest city. Look at that. Another appreciation post for Katerina. Not many girls will join me in the world's ugliest city and climb up these abandoned old rusty towers. So yet again, Katerina is hardcore. So the platform we were just stood on was there. Look at it. Halfway up, that old rusty platform. Cat, that was nuts. Let's get out of here. King Converse, ready for any adventure. Careful, cat, careful. Wow, this is it. Another abandoned factory here. Merci. So that's the guys from the tower that are doing the graffiti before. They've come here to graffiti some more factories and God knows what else. Jesus, look at this. Oh. Christ, where are we going? Look at the state of this place. Right, last but not least, we're going to head into a 100 foot or more abandoned cooling tower. This is nuts. This is it. Let's go inside. Look at this. What the hell? Nico's lying on the floor. Look at that. That is crazy. Well, there you go. That is Shalawa. What do you think? Is it the world's ugliest city? For me, it's definitely up there. If not, number one. It's definitely in the top five anyway. So yeah, if you want to come see the world's ugliest city, come to Shalawa. What a place. What about you? World's ugliest city? This one, definitely. <laughs> Look at this. I'll leave you one final glimpse of the cooling tower. Right next to the cooling tower, me and Kat have stumbled across basically a market, restaurants, coffee shops, all in this abandoned factory. Look at this. <laughs> it's like Kat. It's like, yes, we live in the ugliest city in the world. Yes, we've got ugly ass factories, but fuck it. Let's turn it into a market and sell some clothes in here. Look at this. T-shirts, all sorts of random stuff. Artwork on the right. And just loads of scrap metal and crap here, look. Look, we're literally in one of those abandoned factories and they've converted it into this little market. A little restaurant here on the side. A little cafe selling coffees and stuff. People selling CDs. There's the entrance for this walk in. Look at that. My God, just random things shoved together. Bits of car, scrap metal. Right, we're waiting at the tram station to take us back to our hotel. Let me show you the world's ugliest tram station. Imagine six o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning, P 
peak winter, minus two, minus 10, whatever, and you're waiting to go to work, and this is where you've got to stand. So this is the little uh, waiting area, cold seats, and this is the backdrop. I mean, look at that. All these abandoned factories rotting away. Look at that for a view. It truly is one of the world's ugliest cities. Right, we got the tram, we got on a bus, and then we had to walk home. And we were walking home, back to our hotel. Look at the snow! <laughs> I know you don't like the cold cat, but you gotta love the snow. I do like, well, it's the second time I've seen snow, so yeah, but it's nice. Second time ever? Yeah, what do you think? I'm from a hot country, <laughs> not a snowing country. Look at it, it's crazy. I like it. Come on, open the door. Oh. Baltic. There we go. I think it's so funny. <sighs> Good morning, it's the next day here in the world's ugliest city and I've sent Katerina off, she's made her flight, thank God, she's gone back to Portugal and I'm heading to the capital of Belgium, Brussels, apparently another ugly city, but I'm only there for a few hours. I've just got myself a bus ticket, 20 bloody euro for 45 minutes, absolute scam here in Europe honestly, get me back to Asia. Anyway, let's hop on this bus and then get to a different country. Let's go. No, I made it. <laughs> and I just want to go home. This airport is horrendous. What do you expect? You're in the world's ugliest city. <sighs> Food, at least. Water. Four pounds for water. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Europe. Anyway, I'll um, catch you later. Have a safe, have a safe flight. And thanks for coming to the world's ugliest city with me. Never again. Never again. Take care. Bye. Merci. Okay then. Woo. Right, welcome to Brussels, the capital of Belgium. Now I've seen enough of Belgium already. Will I come back? I don't know. So let's get on another bus and head to a different country. Five hour journey apparently. So let's get there. See you in the next country. <laughs> Right, the bus took eight hours in the end, but we've made it to a new country. Now, I'm not going to tell you where I am. You have to wait and see until the next video. Let's just say this city, whenever it's mentioned in the news, is always kicking off riots, protests or worse. So I'm going to spend the next 24 hours here and see what it's like. I've actually never been here before, so yeah, we're going to see. Anyway, let me get to my hotel. Let's find out what 80 pound a night gets you here in this new city. And here it is, Hotel Des Arts. Maybe this name gives you a clue on where I am. So, let's go check in. Yeah, Benjamin. Uh, one night? Un? Oui. 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 Cinco. Okay, merci. Okay. Bloody hell. A bit dark, innit? Ah, merci. So you probably guessed where I am from more French. Oh, Cinco. There we go. Blimey, that's some tight corridors. Let's see. What? Eighty pound. Oh, Christ. Well, there you go. Eighty pound a night. <laughs> Jesus. Instant hit of cigarette smell as soon as you walk in. It's like someone's literally just had a cigarette in this room and walked out. But yeah, this is it. Let me give you a grand tour of um, my room. Well then, there it is. A lovely pink bed, a nice stained green carpet, a nice little desk to do some editing on with a TV, 
a radiator in a corner, and my view of this city. It's too dark at the moment, but yeah, not the best view. A little place to hang my clothes, and there is the bathroom. And I've just noticed there's no bloody toilet. Where the hell's the toilet? Just a shower. But I do have a map of the world. Wow, there it is. Can you guess where I am on that map? Any guesses? Let me know in the comments. But there you go. Katerina, you've made it. Yay. I did, I'm home. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks because I left that city, Shaloha, whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. But yeah, glad you made it home. Um, yeah, I'm now in a new country. How is your hotel room? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I thought I'd treat myself to something nice. You know what I mean? I like my luxury hotels. So, yeah, not bad. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. And, um, yeah, speak to you in a few days. Enjoy Portugal. Thank you. Have fun. Oh, I will. Au revoir. Au revoir.